everybody um, it's Tuesday the 22nd of March and I was up at my usual time you know 7.30 um, and just uh, off chance decided to put on the morning news even though I was meant to watch something completely different and uh, obviously came across the attacks in Belgium at Brussels airport and the metro station near the the European Union offices. Uh, yeah, it's it's shocking. Um, I remember talking about this after the Paris attacks only like a few months back. And again, Belgium is a place where I played a lot over the years. I've I travelled to that airport several times. I've played in Brussels, but I played in all over Belgium, and I love the country. I, such so many great memories of the place and and just wonderful people and it's it's frustrating and it's hard to take in and I suppose we're all kind of in a similar situation like I, I had a busy day planned and everything to, like stuff that I had to get done today and for about an hour I was just glued to the TV and trying to get more information, trying to understand, and, and you can't understand, like, it's it's scary, but at the same time, it's become part of the world that we live in at the moment, like, and I don't have any solutions how to change it, which makes me, on a personal level, feel a bit hopeless, and uh, am I scared? Um, to a certain extent, am I letting this kind of stop me traveling, or going to certain places absolutely not um, that's the whole thinking behind it and and I'm kind of looking at the world politics at the moment and there's like there's little it's like a game of chess chess where there's little pawns are being put into place where if certain things or people get in power the divide that we have can be made into even bigger which is only in the long run gonna lead to more people dying suffering uh, more hatred um here's the thing here's the only way i can put it um to me traveling is one thing that i think i've been traveling since i was very very young um my father was a truck driver. I, I was very lucky to have the opportunity to travel around Europe. Um, I've been to the Eastern Europe when it was still behind the Iron Curtain. I've been to Eastern Germany. I've been to Czechoslovakia when it still was Czechoslovakia. Um, I've been all over Eastern Europe. I've been all over Western Europe. Um, and I think traveling kind of opens, exposes you to different cultures and opens your mind and um, the more you get to talk and meet with local people the more you get exposed to their culture the more you get an understanding and more you give them an understanding of you as well so I think the the fear of traveling or just traveling the safe opportunities right now is like it's the worst thing we can do we need to understand each other more. It's tough. <sighs> it's very, very tough. But go and see see the world. Like don't let don't let what they want. What what what's behind this terrorist attacks is to breed fear where we we wouldn't live our life to the fullest. Uh, don't let them do that. Also. Don't let anybody else use this as a fuel. That would be a massive, massive, massive mistake. And it would help, again, the people who are behind this kind of stuff. And that's all I'm going to say about this. Um, the fact is, we got to get on with our lives. And that's what I'm about to do. Um, it's Tuesday. It's my studio day. I'm just going to keep on recording music and keep on doing what I do. And I hope you can do the same. 
this does not mean that my thoughts and all my love in the world isn't with the people in Belgium at the moment because it is. Um, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Talk to you later. I just finished the mix on this week's song. It's been one of those learning curve days. Uh, I'm kind of digging into more and more into these, you know, the way when I'm, I've been doing, putting all the, the, the beats into the songs and all that. And then with that, I kind of looking into more of the production techniques used in that side of things for vocals as well and I have kind of learned uh, well I knew that they were using a lot more uh, heavier plugins than I was using but uh, I, now I'm kind of tempted to get my hands on some of them and uh, I think a certain amount of them might be good for speeding up the process of me uh, mixing stuff and, and getting vocals and that kind of stuff done um, as you know because I record once a week it becomes quite important that the process of recording is as fast as possible but with as good results as possible. I mean I spend I spend now a day and a half of this track so <laughs> that's the way it goes. Put it this way, Logic Pro X, I use Logic Pro X and it's absolutely brilliant piece of software and it comes with a amazing uh, package of plugins which especially in the beginning part it they will carry you as long as like very very far and um, what that's what i love about the whole package is that there's no excuses why not to do something because you have everything there but eventually somewhere along the line you out outgrow these things so i think i'm starting to be at that point i'm kind of outgrowing some of the stuff in there okay years ago uh, me and the des the drummer in slitter we had our own, own uh, little studio where we were using Nuendo, which had uh, pretty much any plugin under the sun you could ever imagine. But that was the reason why we were using Nuendo because we were working on a PC. Now I'm working on a Mac, so um, I've just been using the, the Logic Pro X and it's been doing a wonderful job. But yeah, I'm starting to miss some of these old old plugins and I think I need to be digging some cash for that. But hey, that's that's the nature of the game. Sometimes you gotta invest into your tools. The truck is sounding good. I'm also kind of learning more and more about the whole production side of things like even I, I've been doing this for years but I'm kind of learning new stuff which is really exciting and I think it's to do with the fact that I'm kind of diversifying the soundscape at the moment and as a result you kind of get exposed to how other people work and yeah it's really cool I, I'm, I'm, any day that I learn something new is an exciting day for me and it's a good day for me Today, uh, not only did I learn something new, I also learned how much more I have to learn. So I think there's going to be a lot of uh, late nights of in between the vlogging and editing, editing vlogs. I'm going to be studying a lot about this stuff. There you go. Um, but I think this track is still going to start to be ready for this week. So I'm happy with it. It had a bit of a birth pains, but I think we're there. Now I got to run to the town. Do a bit of shopping because we're out of toilet paper and food and then I'm in the porterhouse. My second last session before I have two days off. To be precise, 72 hours off. Not that I'm counting. But yeah, gotta go. So I'll talk to you later. I gotta be answered. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that one, <laughs> On the official, on the Pineapple's official Twitter. Have you Something, recovered? Is that, yes, I have, thank you very much. What's the past tense of tweeted? The past tense of tweeted is twatted. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering. And if you tweet constantly, you are a 
Thank you. Isn't his beard looking magnificent? It's getting pretty bushy, isn't it? No, it's getting firm. Firm? <laughs> it's getting firm. That's what keeps all of his pictures. Yeah. And, and loose change. And loose change and the, the, the occasional banjo string. <laughs> uh, occasional banjo. Well, no, okay, that's where he keeps his banjo and carries it around. And then there's Barry, we won't talk about that. He's got a camera out again, Barry. Here we are. The Quatius is always stopped. Because it didn't work. Does the man clearly he's given up? <laughs> Good evening. Just back from the session in the porterhouse. Um, it was a good one. It was Brian, on the banjo, and Barra on the flutes. It's the original team today, which hasn't been for quite a long while again. But uh, it was good. It was good music. Um, now I gotta go to the shop. I never made it to the shop earlier on, and I really need to get some toilet paper badly and some food maybe. But that's about the height of excitement. After that, it's just gonna be. Sofa and TV and that kind of stuff. And oh yeah, some vlog editing obviously. Um, but, so, hope you had a great day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. You can see in the distance The sun is on its way Just a little bit of winter left to bear